All right, this is gonna be part seven of Persona 5 Royal. Uh, you didn't miss anything. <coughs> I didn't do anything offline. Anyways, we're just gonna study for this night till just past time. Anyways, Mishima texts me and says the website came in handy, didn't it? I heard the stalker got his upcoming. How have things been? You know, with the special activities. Ah, oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. I uh, haven't been getting a lot of sleep lately. I've been staying up managing the fan site all night. Every night. I think it's called PR. <laughs> you wanna know more? Basically, there's no point to taking down bad guys if nobody's gonna know about it. That we need the Phantom Thieves to be seen in the proper light if we want to make the name popular, right? Really? Just hearing you say that makes my all-nighters worth it. So, actually, I really want to know how you punish people. Don't worry, I'm not going to ask. It wouldn't be any fun if you just up and told me. After all, the Phantom Thieves have a reputation for being secretive. I... I wish I could be more like you guys somehow. But I'll still be here to draw attention to the stuff you do. You can leave that part to me. I'm gonna use my fan site to promote the Phantom Thieves and weed out any negative comments. Your popularity is gonna be at my mercy. Or, uh, at my fingertips. It's like I'll be your strategic image management representative, so to speak. Strategic image management representative. Rolls off the tongue, don't you think? Anyway. I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure that title's more than just for show. <sighs> <sighs> I've gotta say though, managing the Phantom Thieves' reputation is tiring work. The forum gets all sorts of weird posts, including tons of things unrelated to reforming society. It'd defeat the purpose of the site if the truth of the Phantom Thieves was buried among all that garbage. But you don't need to worry. I'll sort through all the trash. Speaking of which, I've actually already found some worthwhile info about our very own school. Our quest to boost your popularity can start close to home. I'll give him my all. All right. I think I'd fall asleep on the spot if I weren't talking to you. I should head home. See you later. Mishima says, listen to this, I was checking out the site earlier and found a bunch of hater comments. It got me mad. At this point, I might as well pull an all-nighter fighting back. I was going to say, nice hustle. He says, it's strategic image management rep. The title is important. Try to remember the whole thing, okay? Well, I'm going to work my butt off. Good God, could they repeat any more of the same dialogue? I swear, like, between the... Them just telling me what Mishima did, to the next day having him tell me what he does again, to 
having him call me right after he told me what he did. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Anyways, Morgana says, make sure you study for midterms. And many other words that mean the same thing. Thusly giving me a massive headache. Let's see. Get up, you punk. Drink your juice, children. Or die. Alright, we're gonna work at Beef Bowl. I need a save beforehand, though. Because... If I screw this up, that one guy won't give me his confidant thing. And then I have to do it over. So it's like... Let's not do that. Anyways, that guy says, you appear to have a rough time there. Can't you ask your manager to hire more people? You were really busy. Employees being overworked is becoming a real problem in the workplace. It's concerning. Mm. Hmm, I should remember this, he says. Well, then, I'll, see I'll leave my payment here. Thank you for the food. And then Morgana says, that's the politician who gives speeches. You should probably check up on him again Nine. sometime. The manager said you did that's a good goodness. job, and he gives us a little extra money for getting the orders correct. How fancy. Complaining about having allergies. Morgana says that different things might influence mementos differently. Morning. Uh, mm. Allergies? Oh, uh, maybe. Uh, I do feel kind of dazed and everything feels weird. But, um, actually, I've been having a feeling that someone's watching me. Uh, I hope not. Oh, uh, 
Maybe I just can't shake off the feeling of infiltrating a palace. At the palace, we're always cautious of not being noticed, you know? So it has to be my imagination. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, Ryuji thinks the atmosphere at school is different. Oh boy. Blah blah blah, Kamoshida. No one has sympathy for him, he got what he deserved. Not super important stuff. Mashima has new mementos quests. About that. Yep. Ryuji says, Want to go to Mementos? Tom says, We need to study for exams. Um, let's go. All right. Uh, yeah, they're just arguing back and forth about whether they should do that or not. Yeah, anyways. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Hmm. We're going to do death instead. Allergies are so annoying. Anyways, we suggest a clinical trial. Takemi says she made adjustments to the drug based on the trial, and then she says drink it in one gulp. <laughs> she says your reaction was perfect, you feel dazed. I mixed in some special, well, components. Alright, let's take your temperature and blood pressure. I'm also going to draw some blood. I also want to perform a few motor skill tests, but those might be too much for you right now. Anyway, since we're in the final stages, I should first stabilize the fundamental formula. A man says, there you are, and barges in. Looks like what? a police officer. Takemi says, I'm in the middle of an exam. I told you before, officer, if you want to investigate me, you need to show me a warrant. The officer says, I'm here because we received a report. I'll need to see a detailed statement of medical expenses and full medical records. I bet you didn't have enough time to hide any incriminating documents, huh? Takemi says, must be under the orders of the medical chief of staff. Here you go. The guy says, huh? Takemi says, this kid here is my only patient today. If you're asking for his medical expenses, I'm guessing I'm under suspicion of improper billing. But without a receipt, I'd say you've been sent on a wild goose chase. The officer says, what's going on here? Takemi says, you're being manipulated. That report is fictitious. It's nothing but an attempt to harass me. The officer says, what? And then asks me what I'm doing here. And he says, you don't seem to be sick. Are you up to something illegal? I just say, I have a bad heart. <laughs> the officer says, a bad heart? Takemi says, he's stressed about taking entrance exams. I have some drugs that help with relaxation. Is there anything else? As you can see, I'm pretty busy. Officer says, fine, you're infuriating, you know that? But I expect nothing less from someone called the Plague. <sighs> Takemi says, I'm so over this. And what is my reply? My reply is... I agree. Wow. She says, I think we're going to get along just fine. It's nothing to worry about. I'm sure it was my former superior who made that false report. You eavesdropped on our conversation the other day, remember? He's just trying to put pressure on me for having the police investigate me and my practice. By the way, Takemi says I need to draw some blood. There'll be mild anemia, but only temporarily. You'll be fine. It's part of our deal, remember? He thinks I have no choice. Takemi says I like kids who listen to their superiors. Enjoy your medicine. And we have leveled up our bond with Takemi to level 2, I guess. 
All right. All right. <laughs> she says, I'm gonna draw more blood than I need, because you're healthy. And she says, I'm just kidding. Lie down, and once you're done, you can go home. Hanging out with her apparently increases your guts. Because she crazy. Take care. On the way home, we get a text from Takemi. She says, you felt dizzy, so I figured I'd check in. And... What do we say to her? We say, I'm totally fine. She says, sounds good. Seems like you have nothing to worry about. I think you'll be okay. Let me know if you start feeling sick. I'm looking forward to the next clinical trial. Morgana says, come to think of it, that guy who approached you in the beef bowl shop was a politician. He gives speeches at Shibuya Station, but you can't judge a book by its cover. We are texted by our workplace. And we are also texted by An, who says she thinks studying is a bummer. She wants to know if we'll study with her. It says yes because it gives you a good knowledge boost, so we'll do that. <sighs> Anna thinks this sentence is tough. She says, try to think about what the underlined section means. Are you starting to understand how to dissect these problems? I just say, I think so. Morgana says, I'm jealous you get a one-on-one -on -one study session with Lady Anne. It seems like you're making more progress than usual, too. That's not it. Anne says, I'm not so good at this because of my time abroad. Anyway, time to study. Here we go. You think you could help me with math? Let's get back. She says she's tired and doesn't want to do anymore. Okie dokie. It looks like you're attending school seriously. You also seem pretty close with Takamaki-san if you're both coming to school together. You just transferred here though. I guess you two really click. I see. You seemed a lot closer than that yesterday morning. I heard she was a victim of Mr. Kamashita. But was that all there was to it? Shall we begin? Anyways, it's time for more pointless trivia. Blah, 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 blah. Do you know the answer? This is it. Correct. Yay, we got it right. Who cares? Nice going. Looks like we got hangout requests from Am and also Ryuji. Let's see. Looks like we're gonna hang out with Am. Doing this unlocks that part. Game then gives me a bunch of pointless tutorials. <laughs> oh, what happened there? Ah, eh, whatever. I 
Tom says, open places like this are great. I think my training is going to be superior today. Remember how I said I want to strengthen my heart? Well, I came up with a way to do it. I say, how's that? She says, I think having a strong heart means you don't let anything get under your skin. I want you to say stuff to me and I'll try not to get phased. I say, what kind of stuff? She says, we've already started. I won't let that hesitation shake me. She says, hit me with your best shot. I'll just say, you're dumb. And <clears throat> that response was annoying. And let's go with, can we stop yet? She says, you're giving up? That means I win. Wait, was that how this is supposed to go? Oh well, round two, bring it on. Uh, I'll just say, you're a genius. She says, I feel like this won't make our persona stronger. And I say, you finally get it. She says, something's not right. She got an email from her agency regarding a shoot. She says she needs to pay extra attention to the time and place they say, because some people haven't been showing up. Um, blah, 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 yeah, anyways. Yeah. It's probably a mystery, I don't know. talking about how she doesn't have a lot of friends because she's busy, because she does a lot of modeling, and that her parents are like a connection that she uses to like do the modeling. I don't know. It's a lot of words. talks about wanting to grow up like a female thief she saw on TV, and then she leaves. Alan says, thanks for coming with me today. After we met up, I tried doing some runway walks on the way home. A girl was watching me and tried to copy me. Do you think she thought I was cool? I'm gonna say... Could be. She says, that's enough to make me blush. To be honest, I feel bad for her. She has no idea that the real me is a human disaster. I guess I have a long way to go, but I'm not giving up. I made a decision that I'm going to get stronger, so I need to overcome any obstacles. Thanks for hearing me out. Okay, bye. What was me? I'm just a sad little model. I'm just so pretty. <sighs> No one understands me. Anyway, Ryuji wants to study. But first, we're going to solve this crossword puzzle. My, my, my. Ugh. Oh, I thought it was Goose, but apparently I'm wrong. Oh, it's golden. Ryuji says, I'm starting to get the hang of this. Yeah, 
Yeah, whatever. He told Ryuji to start over if he makes a mistake. Yeah. Ryuji says, if I just fix this, problem solved. Wow, you're amazing. I have to grab a refill. Solving that question's got me real pumped up. Want to head back? He says, I guess we should go home. Anyways, a student says, an assembly during exam week? What the hell are they thinking? It's the day after tomorrow. I wonder if it's going to be about Mr. Kamoshida. All the Seems students are complaining. Rough. Apparently, today is the first day of exams. Anyways. Minamoto no Yoshitsune. I guess it's that one. Ooh, we can do this! Looks like it should be Minamoto no Yoritomo. And then I guess it should be Yoritomo 1. And then the week. <coughs> yep. I think the rest of the day is just fast forward as we do all the exams. Let's get started. Ooh, we can do this. Ooh, we can do this. Anyways, everyone's talking about how tomorrow's the last day of the exams and how they should get home and study. Naked. Ever since that specific incident, many of you have voiced concerns that I could not bear to ignore. We believe the mental health of our student body is absolutely vital, so we've acquired the services of a therapist. The floor is yours, Doctor. Whoa, his voice is sexy. My name is... Huh? My name is Takuto Maruki. Thank you for welcoming me to your school. <laughs> no need to be formal with me, though. I'm just here to counsel anyone who's interested. Yo, you ever expect this place to actually give a shit about our mental health? Well, our school's made national news. Maybe they figured they'd look even worse if they didn't do anything for us. And Dr. uh, Dr. what's his name? Maruki. Yeah, wasn't that guy just basically clowning it up on stage? 
You really think he'll do us any good? For you, G. Hey there. Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san, right? And that must make you. How do you know our names? Well, I was informed of certain students before beginning my tenure here. Those that had, uh, previous interactions with Mr. Kamoshida. It must have been especially tough for you after having just transferred here. A castle? You idiot! Uh, <laughs> oh, looks like this guy didn't get much sleep last night. So, what do you want with us? Ah, yes, I'd forgotten. I know I already offered my services to the student body earlier, but would you three be interested in counseling? Nope, not at all. Huh? How's that sup- You were just a touch more emphatic about it than I'd expected. Ah, but if you come to my office, you can have free snacks. All you can eat would be nice, but there's still plenty to be had. So, how about it? Hey! Don't fall for that! To be frank, I've been explicitly ordered to provide counseling to the students directly involved with Mr. Kamoshida. It's in the school's interest. For its students. Ah, the school's interest, huh? I know that asking you to be open with a complete stranger like myself is a lot. Make it... Ooh! If you attend my counseling sessions, I'll teach you different ways to improve your mental acuity. Like ways to hone your concentration before exams, or not getting nervous on dates. How's that sound? Uh... There's also snacks. All right, all right, enough with the snacks. So, which way are you leaning? <sighs> I guess it'd just be more trouble for us if we didn't go. Hmm, yeah. Really? Then, I guess it's a deal. I'll be in the nurse's office. Feel free to come by whenever it's convenient for you. Well, we should get going. Okay. Uh, thanks for taking my counseling into consideration. Now that we have a deal, I promise I'll do my best to help you. It's hard to believe an ordinary high school student could accomplish such grandiose heists. One would need a heart of steel, unaffected by outside influences, and prepared to act without hesitating. There has to be someone who helped strengthen your mental state. Sound like somebody you know? Give me a name! I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Counselor Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. So hold up, dude. Sorry for keeping you like this. Well then. Okay, quiet down. Oh boy. Basically, they're just still talking about the counselor. I get it. There's a counselor. Calm down. Calm down, game. Yes. Welcome. Anyways, An showed up for a counseling session. 
<laughs> she says, is it a bad time? He says, not at all. It's always a good time, so long as I'm not already listening to a student. He says, I'm glad you're here. Would you care for a snack? Well, shall we begin? He says, just relax, all right? I'm only here to listen to whatever you wish to talk about. Yes. Tom says, okay. Although I really only have one thing on my mind. <clears throat> Maruki says, makes sense. Don't force yourself into talking, though. You could grab some snacks and be on your way if you wanted. And then he laughs. Tom says, it's all right. I need to know, I need to talk to someone about this anyway. That is, if you're willing to listen to the super long story. He says, I definitely am. Take all the time you need. <sighs> Maruki says, I see. That's a horrible thing to do to someone. Um says, that's why I wanted to get even with him for Shiho. Maruki says, and? At first, I thought Kamoshida ought to face the same fate Shiho was going to put herself through, but... Later, I realized that wasn't right. If he did take his own life, it wouldn't undo Shiho's suffering. In fact, I'd just give him the easy way out. Right. Maruki says, is that so? You know, you're quite the wise, level-headed young woman. She says, I think you got the wrong... And he says, nope. In fact, I think you're wiser than I was at your age. I wasn't anywhere near as mature as you are now. Um says, it's not like I did anything special. If I hadn't gone through my own share of hell, I don't think I'd be so mature either. Maruki says, I see. So what's on your mind now? Mm, let me think. Um says, right now, Shiho, we both suffered a lot, but I just want to get back to laughing and having fun like we used to. At this point, I don't care about Kamoshida at all. Yeah. Maruki says, there's a healthy outlook. You can't change the past, but you still want to keep your chin up and press onward. Is that the gist of it? She says, yeah, that sounds right. I mean, it's definitely going to be better if none of this had happened, but... Quite. Maruki says, I agree with you there, but it's impossible to wipe every tragedy from history. Yeah. An says, if only, right? Everyone, everyone would be so much happier if we could actually do that. Maruki says, it seems I lost track of time. We should wrap things up here for today. Thank you so much for coming to see me. An says, thank you. I feel a ton better now that that's all off my chest. Careful. Okay. Maruki says, good to hear it. You deserve it. Feel free to stop by again anytime. Okay. Um, I'm says, going. will do. See you around. Even though the voice actor said something completely different. Am um, said she got counseling, asks me if I'm also going to go. And she says, I think you should give it a shot. The guy hmm. seems pretty nice, actually. Anyways, we run into Yoshizawa. She says, hello. Are you here for a session as well? I say, that's correct. She says, is that so? Dr. Maruki is a wonderful counselor. I've been seeing him for a while before he ever came to Shujin. Uh -huh. Maruki says, I didn't know you two were acquainted. Don't go overselling me too hard. I'm really nothing special. <laughs> the student called Yoshizawa says, well, I need to get going. Please excuse me. Maruki says, why don't we get started? Welcome. He says, thanks for coming. And I say, we made a deal. <laughs> he says, ah, I'll try to make sure it's worth the trouble. Let's see. Maruki says, thank you. I have a grasp of the situation. Full disclosure, the school gave me a brief rundown of the circumstances surrounding your transfer here. I say, I'm doing okay now. And he says, but you weren't before I take it. Try not to push yourself too hard, okay? So... Now that you told me something about yourself, I think I realized something. It seems like you've largely been able to reconcile your internal world with your external one. I should note that's really impressive. Even most adults can't reliably manage that. How to put it? You know how everyone has an internal reality, some conception of themselves they're striving so. for? like wanting to be a model student or wanting to be loved and relied on, that kind of thing. But that idealized reality and the one in actuality are often far apart, and that gap is responsible for a lot of people's pain. Not everyone can ace their exams, and not everyone can be the hero they wish they could be. Hmm. 
You've already been through so much, that kind of suffering is usually enough to twist people up into dark places. But you, you're standing up to it. You're confronting a tough, painful reality, and to me, that's incredibly admirable. Admirable. Gosh. Maruki continues, Then again, maybe that's a little weird for you to hear from a guy you just met, huh? I just say, it sounds right, though. <laughs> Maruki says, you're not even deflecting any... Not even any deflecting self-depreciation. You really are strong. I'm sorry. Well, let's see. Sorry this went on longer than I expected. Somehow, the conversation just took a life of its own, I guess. Say. I've actually got one last request. Do you mind? You know, no, I... He says he's doing certain research along with his duties as a counselor. He says it's not quite like counseling, more like a type of psychological treatment. Basically, it's a project to learn more about people's metaphorical hearts, what they think, how they feel. How about it? If I get far enough with it, I think I'll be able to help a lot of people. So, dot dot dot. I just say, I'll need more details. Uh, he says, oh, sorry. I guess my point is, I'd like to ask you to help with the research. And you'd have to... Oh, all you'd have to do is listen to my theories and tell me if they spark any ideas or realizations on your end. Please, any time's good for me. I can work around your schedule. Uh, I have a lot of snacks, too. You can have them. They're yours. I just say... Uh, better make it worth it. And he says, leave it to me. I swear you won't regret it. Let's see. I know. Maybe I could teach you some tips for mental training. I happen to know a lot on the subject. I'm sure I could cook up a special regimen for you. If you're dedicated enough, I'm sure you could draw out your full potential. Thank you. And then he says, okay, I guess that's our second deal. And I guess our bond has deepened to level two somehow. All right. I know. Maruki says, would it be okay if we traded contact info? That way, when you've got time, or when I need input from you, I can get a hold of you. Maruki says, that should no. do it. I'd better do my part to repay you. Let's talk about the mental training. First off... All right. Anyway, we increased our max SP. Maruki says, never a bad time for a snack, right? Well, well see, see you. you. And then he says, thanks for your help. I'll see you around at school. Morgana said, you spent a really long time talking to Maruki. How late is it? Well, if you think the sessions are worthwhile, you should try going again sometime. We should definitely get some sleep. Tomorrow's your last day of exams. My, my, my. My, 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 my. My, 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 my. My, 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 my. Freaking cat telling me how to live my freaking life. I realized today is the last day of exams. You staying up studying? Nah, I gave up on the exam. I was playing some games, and then before I knew it, it was morning. Bull, you, you say that, but you probably just spent the whole night studying. Uh, morning. Yo, look who else is yawning. Exams are almost over, so I thought I'd make one last effort across the finish line. Oh, impressive, Lady On. You're quite different from this stupid monkey I know. Huh? Don't give me that crap. Your brain's tiny compared to mine. Size is meaningless if there's nothing inside, you know. What was that? Ugh, will you please shut up? You're gonna make me forget everything I remember. Huh? Am I imagining things? What? You see a groper or something? No, that's not it. It's... nothing. 
Hey, uh, are you sure it's him, or are you just that self-conscious? Uh, I'm not that- Is there something you want? <laughs> That's my line! You are the one stalking me! Stalking you? That's outrageous. I know you've been following me, ever since the train! That's because... <laughs> I had wondered why you left the car, so this is where your passion led. All is well that ends well. <laughs> I saw you from the car, and I couldn't help myself from chasing after you. I didn't even notice the calls from Sensei, but thank goodness I caught up to you. Okay... What? You're the woman I've been searching for all this time. Please, won't you? W wait a minute, I... Be the model for my next art piece. M model? All that I've drawn till now has been lacking, but I feel a passion from you unlike anyone else. This man's highly suspicious. Ain't this a recruit for some shady business? Will you cooperate with me? What do you say? Whoa, hold your horses! Who are you anyways? Oh, where are my manners? I'm a second year at Kosei High's Fine Arts Division. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. I am Madarame-sensei's pupil, and I am being allowed residence at his place. I'm striving to become an artist. Huh? Do you mean that, Madarame? The one who was on Good Morning Japan the other day? The very same. You know who that is? He was introduced as a super famous Japanese-style artist who's been recognized all over the world. Uh, but we heard that name the other day in Mementos. Yusuke! I'm sorry, Sensei. I'll be right there. That old guy's Madarame? Matarame Sensei's exhibition will begin at the department store near the station tomorrow. I'll be there to help out on opening day. Please come by. It'd be great if you could give me your answer in regard to being a model then. I bet you have no interest in the fine arts, but I'll give you tickets too. Well then, I hope to see you there tomorrow. <laughs> that guy's as easy to read as a book. You're not planning on going, are ya? I think I will. Crap, look at the time! I'll see you later! How dare he go after Lady On? I've memorized that face of yours, Yusuke. You became acquainted with Madarame's pupil by chance? That's a little too convenient. It makes me wonder if you're even telling the truth. So be it. What I want to know most is your method. It's true that Madarame was an unforgivable criminal worthy of the scorn thrown at him. He was an adult who cultivated his own fame and fortune by sacrificing the livelihood of children. 
but he'd been covering his tracks for years. How did you uncover the truth in such a short span of time? This metaverse business again? <sighs> Fine. Let's suppose that people's hearts can be changed by stealing their treasure, like you've said. If so, a different suspicion arises. People have gone mad or lost consciousness never to recover, like the subway accident in April. Depending on how you look at it, that could be taken as a phenomenon for a sudden change of heart too. Were you related to those as well? Hmm, I see. <clears throat> Fine. Let's get back to Matarame's case. Keep it concise and stick to the facts. Anyways, the cat says, this is the last day of the exam. Seemed like some of those questions were tough. Well, it wasn't too bad. You should have got a decent score, right? My mom. Meow meow. Meow 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 meow. Meow meow. Anyways, people are talking about counsel counseling, volleyball, exam questions, etc. I call it the rumor mill whenever the little bubbles pop up. It's over. It's over. How about, How about you? You, you traitor! <laughs> Anyways, can we stop talking about the exams? Like it or not, we're gonna come back graded next week. Rather than focus on stuff that's over with. What are you looking at? The usual site. There's no use. There ain't any useful info. The number of posts are getting less and less, too. I am not letting this end as one hit wonder, okay? There's no point in getting antsy, though. I know. Why don't we go eat lunch somewhere? We still have some money left over from the other day. I want sushi then! Or domestic raised eel. You don't have that much left. Oh, right! There are those tickets to Maharani's exhibit. Wait, that's tomorrow. Don't tell me. Was it love at first sight with that Yusuke guy? It's not like that. <sighs> of course not. When I was watching that special on TV, his artwork was pretty nice. Plus, we've got free tickets. Besides, this could also be related to what we heard in the Mentos. Matarame, was it? Hmm. That aside, what should I do about the other two tickets? Wanna go appreciate some fine arts for once? Fine arts, huh? I suggest we should all go together. Appreciating the fine arts builds character. A phantom thief who can't identify an original is lame. If everyone's going... It's settled then. Just the phrase going to an art exhibit sounds kind of mature. Let's meet at the exhibit entrance tomorrow. Anyways, Morgana says we see the art exhibit tomorrow, and he wonders if Matarame has anything to do with the name that they heard in Mementos earlier in the game. He says that we cannot afford to be late tomorrow, so we better not go out tonight. Am um, texts us and says, could he have been talking about the same person? And Ryuji also thinks the same. Alrighty. Okay. What's up? What's up? Let's see, what should we do? It is the 14th. My, my, my. We're gonna watch some TV Whoa. then. Hey, hey. 
anyways, apparently watching Beverly Hills 90210 has increased our charm. I don't know that that would occur in real life, but whatever. Whatever cranks your chain. The only thing that cranks my chain is loads and loads of lines of cocaine. Just kidding. Cocaine. So crowded. It'll be a pain in the ass if someone sees you, so don't stick your head out too much. I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab water. You came. Um, yeah. You really came. What'd you expect when you left us those tickets? Make sure that you don't get in the way of the other visitors. Come now, I'll show you around. I'd like to speak more about the picture I'd like to draw, too. Well, see you guys later. Will Lady Hun be all right? What if he drags her behind some painting and tries something funny? I told you not to come out! Are we really gonna appreciate the fine arts? Can't we just go home? We should do a quick pass through at once. Uh, which way are we supposed to start? Hmm? It's that old man from the other day. We continue to be truly surprised by your imagination. You have such expansive styles. It's hard to believe that it all stems from one person. Where in the world does all your inspiration come from? Well, it is rather difficult to put into words. They naturally well up from within my heart, like bubbles rising one after another in the spring. Naturally, you say. What's important is to distance oneself from worldly desires, such as money and fame. My atelier is a modest shack, but it is more than enough to pursue true beauty. A shack? I see. So the act of emptying one's mind gives rise to inner beauty. Still, to think we could hear the word shack coming from the great artist Madarame. You would understand if you saw it. <laughs> Wasn't the word shack something? Madarame san is actually here? Over there! I'm so glad I came on opening day. Okay, <laughs> stop pushing! <sighs> There's way too many people! Anyways, we gotta head for the exit. Don't die on us, all right? I didn't know there were so many types of Japanese art. Usually, one concentrates on their own style. However, since he creates all this by himself, he's special. There you are, Yusuke. Sensei. Ah, the girl from yesterday. Are you enjoying the exhibit? I don't know how to put it into words, but it's really amazing. You're sensing something from the artwork. That alone is enough to give us artists satisfaction. I hope this becomes a wonderful piece, Yusuke. Well then, if you'll excuse me. You'd imagine artists would be difficult to approach. But he seems really friendly. Indeed. painting I wanted to see in person. This one? I guess it's the painter's anger? I'm not sure, but I sense this strong frustration from it. To think such a cheerful and gentlemanly person could make such a piece. <clears throat> Something wrong? Don't mind me. There are better pieces than this one. Come now, this way. H hey! Old lady totally elbowed me. 
Thanks to that, I remember now. Well, let me get to it. It's about a post online. Here, look at this. Why'd you leave without me? You got it all wrong. We got dragged into this huge crowd and... Eh, anyways, you gotta look at this too. This post might be about Madarame. What's it say? A master of the Japanese arts is plagiarizing his people's work. Only his public face is shown on TV. Plagiarizing? I didn't think much of it when I first saw it, but hearing Shaq and Madarame triggered it. His treatment of the pupils who live with him is awful. He teaches nothing and bosses them around. He treats them inhumanely, as if disciplining a dog. Abuse on top of plagiarism, hmm? Huh? If this is real, it'll be a huge scandal. I wonder if Kitagawa-kun posted this. I mean, he is a pupil of his. Who knows? It's anonymous and all. In that case, it's possible the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is referring to the same one. A man like that doing such a thing? I wonder if we can ask that shadow from earlier about this. Oh, actually, we just need to talk to him in reality. And how are we gonna go about that? Are we gonna explain it all, starting with Mementos? Besides, if we make a move out in the open, there's the possibility that Madarame will find out. Oh, yeah, right. Hey, what do you think about Madarame? Doesn't he seem suspicious? I know, right? This all fits way too well to just be a coincidence. If this post is legit, ain't this the kind of target we've been waiting for? Well, yeah, but is it really true? By the way, what did you do about the whole modeling thing? Kitagawa-kun gave me his contact info, and the address to his sensei's atelier. He said he lives there, right? Perfect timing! Let's try going tomorrow. We're off to Madarame's house right after school. Huh? You want me to model tomorrow? This is too sudden! What? We're just gonna go talk to Kitagawa. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay. Morgana says we need to find out if the rumor about Madarami is true. If it is, this just might be exactly what we need. Whoa. Morgana says that reminds me, the home shopping program is airing today. If you want to check it out Whoa. on TV. Let's see. Today is the 15th. We are going to study downstairs then. Now listen. What do you want to do? Make sure your clothes on. Can I talk? I think the cat is annoyed that I was skipping his dialogue, but he says the same thing every time I study, so it's like, why even bother? Oh my goodness. Oh my gracious. Oh my stars. Okay, let's get started. Maruki says, hi, I'm Maruki, your school counselor. Thanks to the school, I can even talk to you outside of counseling now. I want to talk about how mental health and perception can affect you. Don't worry, I don't want to stress you out or anything, just relax and listen. How much do you guys know about the emotional mind? So, see, what's going on in your body can affect your mind. Eh, what's going on in your mind can affect your body fairly significantly. There's proof it can heal you depending on your outlook. So, oh, it must be time for questions. What do we call the phenomenon where believing in a treatment's power is enough to improve your condition? That would be the placebo effect. This is it. That's right. He says that's correct. And he talks more about placebo, placebos. Blah, 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 blah. Random trivia hour.
Anyways, the kids are talking about the Madarame exhibit. <clears throat> and thieves going by train. This ain't any different from how I get home from school, you know. The train is the fastest way to go. Plus, we can bring pets on here. Hey, who are you calling a pet? Dude, be quiet! We didn't pay the pet fare. I'm the one guiding you to your destination. You should be calling me Master. Oh, Kitty! Shoot. Is that your pet, Mister? I heard it meowing. <laughs> yeah, it's just a toy. It meows when you press on its head. You heard her? Press on its head? This is ridiculous! close by to that address. If anything, mm, this is the closest station. What? We gotta walk the rest of the way? What kind of phantom bee takes the train and then walks to their destination? Stop your complaining. It's supposedly a shack, but this is the neighborhood he lives in. As expected of a famous artist, looks like the fastest route is to get to the station square and then go to Central Street. Let's move. Ryuji says, are you sure it's this way? I don't remember seeing a house. An says, it's supposed to be in a residential area just past Central, St uh, Central Street. She informs us that we'll have to walk a little bit, so they are on their way. Meanwhile, elsewhere... Former Olympian. Teacher at Shujin Academy. Reason for turning himself in is... Uh, a heavy conscience, huh? The human mind doesn't change that easily. Let alone their natural temperament. <sighs> Shujin Academy. It seems doubtful. Perhaps I'll have someone look into it. Just in case. Is that it? We're at the right address. The door plate does say Matarame. Uh, you ring the bell. Me? The walls won't collapse when I do, will they? No one sneeze or we'll blow this house down, okay? Who is it? Sensei is currently. Um, it's Takamaki. I'll be right out. People really do live here. Takamaki, sir. You two are here as well? Hey, sorry, but uh, we ain't here to talk about the modeling thing. There's something we gotta ask you. Is it true Madarame's plagiarizing stuff? He's abusing people too, yeah? Are you serious? 
We read about it online. This? <laughs> Preposterous! Not only is the plagiarism impossible, but abuse? He welcomes pupils into his own home. This is no act of violence, it is charity. And I'm the one residing here and studying under him. I'm saying it's not true, so it's beyond doubt. You might be lying about it. That... that is utter rubbish. I had no family when Sensei took me in and raised me into what you see now. If you continue to ridicule the man I owe my life to, you will rue this day! You really think that? Yusuke? What's the matter? I heard you yelling. These people are slandering you with baseless rumors! Forgive them, Yusuke. They must have heard some bad rumors and came in worry for their friend's safety. Understood, Sensei. Well, even I doubt that a cranky old man like myself could be liked by everyone. That's not what we meant. I'm sorry to have butt in on your conversation. However, I do have neighbors around. Won't you please keep it down? Now, if you'll excuse me. <clears throat> that was discourteous of me. I'm sorry. I know. I think you'll be able to believe in Sensei if you saw that painting. It's his maiden work, as well as his most representative piece. It's titled Sayuri. Sayuri? This was the painting that inspired me to become an artist. It's so beautiful. I don't know all this fine art stuff, but even I can tell that this is impressive. When I first saw you, I felt the same powerful emotion as when I saw this painting. Me? I wish to pursue beauty like this. And I believe drawing you will be part of that pursuit. I implore you, seriously consider my offer. I'm sorry that you took the time to come all this way, but I must assist Sensei today. I hope that we can discuss this further another time. If you'll excuse me then. Those two seem like nice guys, don't they? Maybe the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is a different person. Man, right when we thought we found a new target, too. How's the MetaNav? Oh, no. Hey, the app. Was it picking up our conversation? This display. It means that Madarame has a palace, too, right? But why? Madarame, plagiarism, and then Shaq, huh? These seem to be the keywords. For real, though, what the hell's going on? Does an old man like him really have a palace? We have the person's name and the location. All that's left is the what that Madarame mistakes the Shaq for to enter his palace. You mean, like how Kamoshida thought the school was his castle? That's right. Let's try saying some things. They can be random guesses. It's a bit sudden, though. Why don't we start with castle? No candidates found. Then what about prison? No candidates found. Ah, what a pain! Jail, a warehouse, and guidance counseling office. Might as well add farm. No candidates found. Not a single hit. Should we come back another time? building that's related to artists. If we think from there, what would it be? Beginning navigation. Beginning navigation? Whoa, really? Hey, when did you activate the nav? You surprised me. Didn't have much of a choice. I think we just happened to get it right. What if I hadn't noticed and then wandered off and got caught by an enemy? Probably would have figured it out once he started walking on two legs. <sighs> so even you can slip into the metaverse without realizing it, Morgana? Yes. 
In a place with minimal cognitive distortion, the differences can be subtle. Forget that. Look! That shack is seriously some kind of museum? Let's go check it out. It's so extravagant. To the point that it's gaudy. It's a museum, right? This is Matarame's? Well, a palace is a world formed by a mind twisted by desire. Remember Kamoshida's castle? Matarame's artwork is on display at museums in reality too, though. His exhibit was popular, and people already respect him. Why would he fantasize about a museum? You got a point. It ain't related to plagiarism or abuse either. Let's try looking around. Racking our brains here won't do us any good. Right. That aside, ain't a museum a must for Phantom Thieves? Now that's our Joker. I feel the same. But man, just look at that insane crowd. Morgana says, let's begin the infiltration. Raiji says, should we wait in line? Morgana says, no. Alan says, there's a high wall around the building. Morgana says, we'll just have to find our way up over it then. In any case, let's get going. Ryuji says the skylight's open. An says it's a far drop. Will we be able to get out this way? Morgana says, don't worry, I have a rope. So, what's your call, Joker? Wanna head inside? I say, let's do it. says that a palace reflects its user's heart, so we should check out the paintings. Hmm? It's a name and an age. Hmm. Of him in here, and 
more important, why is his name written under it? You're right. Doesn't art usually have, like, the title of the piece or the artist's name? Hmm, this is quite the mystery. All right, let's keep looking around for now. Of that guy? It says Yusuke Kitagawa. There's no mistaking it. Huh? Wait a second. What do you think these paintings are? I think you're right. For real? All of them? But it was only Yusuke when we went to his place before. This must include former pupils as well. Only one remains now. Taking into account what that Nakanohara guy said earlier, things are getting clearer. All right, let's keep investigating. We need something to further confirm our deductions. Focus. Hmm. Anyways, we basically found a map oh, yeah. <laughs> with more words than we found a map. Whatever we found in the box, Morgana equipped. Because <clears throat> it was better than whatever he had equipped. Director Matarame created with his own funds. These individuals must offer their ideas to the director for the rest of their lives. Those who cannot do so have no worth living? Hey, this is most likely about the plagiarism, right? Damn it, what a phony geezer. In other words, his pupils are his property. He doesn't even qualify as an artist if this is true. He's stealing the ideas from talented students in exchange for securing their livelihood. I wondered about those portraits on display. They must all be his pupils through his cognition. This even says that they have no worth. Couldn't this be about the abuse? Matarame will keep them around as long as they're useful to him. But the moment they're not... He's treating them like slaves or tools! Why is Yusuke keeping quiet about this? He's got no reason to cover this up! He did say that he owes Matarame his life for being taken in. But still! When we were at the exhibit, I praised one of the pieces on display. But... Kitagawa-kun acted strange. Maybe that piece was plagiarized too. What's the call? Ain't this enough to target Matarame? That's what I'm talking about! Hold on, you two. We should confirm these facts with Yusuke once more. Confirm what, though? It means we should get solid evidence that such crimes actually took place. What a pain in the ass. Besides, there's too much we don't know about Matarame yet. Mm, you're right. I'll try contacting Kitagawa-kun. I might be able to get the truth out of him if I accept his modeling offer. Wait, you're gonna do that? You all better come with me, okay? I'm scared to go alone. Famous, renowned artist, huh? Wow, oh, this might be tougher than Kamoshida. Well, we'll just prep ourselves until we get confirmation from Yusuke. This is our first mission as real phantom thieves. We're gonna succeed no matter what.
Hmm. The cat wonders why Yusuke would conceal the truth. An says, would you really can would you really forgive someone unconditionally if you owe your life to them? I'm not so sure. Ryuji says, what are you bringing this up for? An says, according to Kitagawa-kun, Madarame isn't a problem. I say, what do you mean? Ryuji says, is there something wrong? An says, I mean, I know Madarame is a bad person, but I'm hesitant because I haven't met any of his victims. Ryuji says, yeah, I guess that part's different from what happened with Kamoshida. An says, this might be an extreme line of thinking, but if an evil person isn't causing any trouble now, is there really a point for us to step in? Ryuji says, you got a point, so we're going to let Yusuke decide if Madarame is worth going after or not? I don't know, if it were me, I'd never forgive him. I say, let's see how Yusuke feels. An says, I guess we could talk some more after that. Let's meet in Shibuya after school tomorrow. Friggin' cat. Let's go to bed. Rude. Mm. Nice. Well, oh, time for bed then. Because the cat says so. We get more texts. Ryuji says, hey, it's me. I just can't forgive Madarami, but what I said made me think. To Yusuke, are we just a bunch of thugs? You don't know either, huh? It ain't like he thinks it is. It pisses me off just thinking about it. Good people have to put up with so much crap while, while shitty adults do whatever they want. Makes me sick. I'm not wrong, am I? Oh yeah. Don't tell Alan I called you, by the way. Uh, seriously. Well, see you tomorrow. Anyways, An says that she contacted Yusuke and is still waiting for his response. Ryuji says thanks. An says, I suppose I have no idea what I'm supposed to do as a model. I just say, just be yourself. She says, that's actually kind of hard. Ryuji says, look, you don't gotta go out for this. Go all out. You don't have to go all out for this. You're only doing it so you can get dirt on Madarame, remember? An um, says, this is true. It sounded like Kitagawa-kun wants this to be a private picture of his, though. Well, I guess I'll let you guys know when he contacts me again. I got a response from Kitagawa-kun. He said he wants me to come over after school today. Perfect. Probably dropped all his plans just to get you over there. We need to find out from Kitagawa-kun if what we saw in the palace was true. Hey, quiet down. It's that student council president. Yikes. She got all the Mishima today? It'd suck if she noticed us. Come on, let's split up. Okay, see you later. Finally landed a big target. Come on, let's get some dirt on Matarame. But man, Han's late. Sorry. I was thinking about some things and didn't notice how much time had passed. Thinking about what? Don't you think Kitagawa-kun has to be protecting Matarame? I mean, they live together, so he'd have to be aware of Matarame's true nature. The only reason I can think of him doing that is that Matarame has something on him. Yeah, that's weird. But that's why we're going to check it out, right? You ready to be a model? Yeah, I'm prepared. What do you mean prepared? Prepared for what? Something seemed different about her to you? You're totally right. Hmm? But I'm the same as always. 
Huh. Well, let's get going. We gotta talk to Yusuke. Kitagawa-kun seemed really happy when I agreed to be his model. Once he finishes drawing and gets a little friendlier, we should bring up Madarame. I thought it would just be you coming, Takamaki-san. Wouldn't you get nervous too, if it was just the two of us? We're here to keep an eye on you, so uh, don't try anything perverted, okay? Stop making such odd assumptions. I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex. Huh? Is there a problem? No, not really. Well then, let's get started. Hey! Kitagawa-kun? You hear her? <laughs> it's no use. This isn't what we planned. We were gonna catch him off guard and make him spill his beans, weren't we? How were we supposed to know this was gonna happen? Guess we just gotta wait till he's done. What an effing pain in the ass. Perhaps I should try going outside this room. think you're talking to this is too boring so I'm going to scout around a bit it's weird how flashy that door is and is that a lock a door with a hefty lock what could be in there are you done it's no good what? I'm sorry. Am I the problem? No, not at all. It's just... I'm having trouble staying focused today. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. Oh, hell no! How many hours do you think you made us wait? I'm sorry. We had another reason for seeing you today. We needed to talk to you. It's about those rumors regarding your sensei. This again. And that painting I saw at the exhibit. You're the one who actually painted it, right? That's... I knew it. Your sensei seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. I'll make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You couldn't go against him, could you? I'm sure we can help you out, though. Stop it. It's just as you all say. We're our sensei's artwork. Don't misunderstand me, though. I offered my ideas to him myself. As such, it can't be called plagiarism. Sensei is simply suffering from artist's block right now. Dude, still. <sighs> Itagawa-kun. Then why are you sticking around? All his other pupils ran away. Aren't you the only one left? What's wrong with a pupil helping out his master? There are no victims here. Stop pushing your self-centered righteousness on me. I'm supporting Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? Don't ever come here again. If you do, I'll sue you for causing a disturbance. Hold it! We're not done talking here! Then you leave me with no choice. Hey! I'm reporting you to the police. I asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today. 
but I don't recall ever calling you two here. What the F, man? Yuji, stop it! Calm down, okay? Damn it! I won't report you, but only under one condition. What's that? I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. But you said that it wasn't working out today. That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you're willing to bear everything to me, I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting ever! What?! Nude?! Ah, uh, to think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model! Of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. If I don't submit a new piece to Sensei soon, there will be some... inconveniences. Nude? Meaning it'll be without any clothes, right? Why are things suddenly escalating like that? Because those are my terms. But that's... Wait, ain't that bad? Sensei is out during the afternoon. While the art exhibit is on, so I can use this place freely. I should buy more art supplies. Will you give me a second here? Uh, of course. I'm willing to wait. I'll make time according to your flex, but please come before the exhibit ends. No, that's not what I mean! Why are you not listening? Sensei will be returning home soon. We're done for today. Takamaki san, I'll be waiting for you to contact me. Hey, what should we do? Yeah, damn it. He got us good this time. Don't give up so easily! Uh -huh. Is she done being a model? A cat? You moron! Dare that Yusuke. The way he said it, it's not gonna be semi but full on nude. Uh, 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 full nudity? Uh, Lady On's gonna. Drop it! You know, you won't have to worry about that if we make Madarame confess before the exhibit ends. But Kitagawa kun thinks he owes his life to him. Is there a need to make Madarame confess? Then, Lady On. You're fine with bearing it all? I am not! Madarame's no different from Kamoshida. That asshole's using Yusuke who doesn't have parents. You're telling me we should just ignore how he's being treated horribly like the other pupils? No. It is frustrating to leave this alone, even if Kitagawa-kun is fine with it himself. You can't leave it be because you've endured a lot yourself with Kamoshida. Yeah. Anyways, we gotta go after this guy. Madarame is the kind of target we've been waiting for. Let's help Yusuke come to his senses, too. Before he ends up like us. Right. We need to look into Madarame first. There might be tons more stuff that hasn't been exposed yet, too. It may become easier for us to investigate his palace if he's preoccupied with his exhibit. Also, there's the thing about me modeling. Kagawa-kun said there'd be inconveniences unless he submits a new piece. Maybe that's going to be announced soon as Madarame's next work. Does that mean the whole country's gonna see you nude? What? Are you saying I'm... Uh, no, I mean... That's not what this is about! We must deal with Madarame, no matter what before his exhibit ends. Let's start after school tomorrow. Oh, it'll be a pain if Miss President finds us on the rooftop again, so... Uh, where to meet up? Let's see... I guess that walkway-like place in Shibuya would work. It's near Madarama's place, too. Changing our hideout periodically, huh? That's a plan I don't mind backing.
Hey, uh, can I talk to you kids for a sec? Huh? From the looks of things, you don't seem like the ordinary stalking fans. Uh... Oh, sorry. I should have been more clear. I'm actually looking for people that know Madurame's pupils. There's this painting, Sayuri, that was supposedly stolen in the past. But there's this rumor that it was taken by one of his pupils in retaliation for being abused. Have you heard anything about that? I see. There's no case unless there's a victim, and if there's no proof of abuse, I can't write either. Looks like I'm back to square one. Sorry for taking your time. I'm a journalist. If you ever get any leads, mind contacting me here? See you then. I guess we should go home for today. Morgana says, whatever, I still can't forgive him. Demanding to paint Lady on nude, then claiming to report us to the police. Hey, hey, it's me. Got a minute? I have, I have some interesting, interesting news. news. Someone received a change of heart contacted me on the fan site. Said he wants to meet with you to discuss another person who needs a change of heart. You're better off talking to him in person if you want specifics. All I know is, his target is a terrible person, and that it might complicate things if he posted the name online. I'll have to wait for you at Shibuya Station after school. The guy's name is Nakanohara. Nakanohara? That's Matarame's student. I told him to approach you. Good luck. Anyways, we are texted by Ryuji, and he says he found out something interesting, well, insane, rather, about Madarame. He says, it sounds like a student of his killed himself when he couldn't speak up about Madarame stealing his work. I say, is that true? An says that journalist was looking into him, too. It could be real. Ryuji says, someone died, though. No one's talking about it. I bet it was covered up. An says, I wonder if Kitagawa-kun has heard anything. It'd be great if he could help us out. Ryuji says, ain't that asking a bit much? After today, he's probably going to be on edge around us. Anyway, Matarame is still a piece of crap. Let's meet up tomorrow. It'll be our first time at the new hideout. An says, it's that passageway in Shibuya, right? Got it. See you guys tomorrow. Ryuji just spoke up as true. There have to be other victims. Anyways, we are on the 17th. So... Let us save the game and end this broadcast. I am feeling like I might fall asleep, so I might take a brief nap and then come back and do some more. I'll definitely do at least one more broadcast today. I just don't know when. But I'll upload this on YouTube as well. And as always, thanks for watching. And we will see you later.